Just the other day, a little birdie tell me, say, you are come around my way. Yeah. Me and I go wait another day now. Cause in my mind, we are come a long way. Hello, guys. Welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and, of course, the subscribe button right, and also go to the notification bell icon, click it. And so, I'll try to drop a new banger, new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. The Unified Everywhere King of the Universe. And of course, the only two time unified ruler in the whole wide world. Anthony Joshua has this to say about testing the Gypsy King Fury, saying that his dream scenario would be to knock his head off. We all know that will surely happen. Okay. Uh, people might say, oh, maybe when, you know what I mean, Joshua is just talking. But believe you me, Joshua, only Joshua has the tools. The capacity, the capability to beat Tyson Fury. Fury himself knows this. But if, anyway, let's watch this video right here and then, of course, proceed. Lands at pinpoint, Fury reaches nine and out. It's all over. The, redemption the champion continues. in the ring is just as focused on his achievements outside of it. He never forgets how he got here and how he wants to help with the future of his sport. Amateur clubs are everything. I still train here till this day. Without this gym, there would be no me. He calls Finchley Boxing Club his second home. It's where he chose to announce today that he's donating a rumoured six-figure sum to grassroots boxing across England, Scotland and Wales because so many clubs have been forced to close in this pandemic. That's why it's so important for this gym to stay open and survive this tough time so we don't lose out on a generation. If I was younger in this pandemic and there was a situation where the gym might not open again, I don't think I would have carried on boxing because these kids, they need that regiment and um, you know the doors need to be open. Causes close to his heart are those AJ likes to support. In the summer, he joined a Black Lives Matter rally in his hometown of Watford. The virus I'm referring to it's called racism. I don't know what to call racism. I just feel like it's a lack of education, of a lack of cultural understanding. We're all one race at the end of the day. We're all one people. And me being a young African man, I feel like I've come across people from all backgrounds and we've managed to get along. He's a great, great uh, fighter. He's but Olympic getting golf. along with Tyson Fury next year might be a struggle in their long-awaited will-they-won't-they they showdown. When you're fighting Joshua. Well, the answer to the question is, next year... I believe, I would, if it was me, I'd have it, like, in February, March, but I think what we're going to try and do is have it later on in the year, middle, because I think it's going to give us a bit of time to prepare for what's going to happen with next year and the situation with the pandemic. What would be your dream scenario? My dream scenario would be to knock his head off. Where well, you heard it from Champ Anthony Joshua. You know, he said his dream scenario would be to knock... Tyson Fury's the Gypsy Queen head of oh sorry Gypsy King oh Queen okay Gypsy Queen King um anyway uh Todd Jagba your take on that by the way I was asked yesterday a question you know from an individual who said is Tyson Fury accepted by all Gypsies all Gypsy community I spoke to one of my friend uh, you know uh, Zigoina you know Dutch Zigoina uh German gypsy about Tyson Fury. It doesn't it, the guy doesn't see its fury as gypsy. Instead he see him as a white guy. He's a little bit crazy though. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not doubting Tassi Fury's gypsy lineage because we you can tell from the family lineage that, that gypsy but he doesn't look gypsy in a way. Anyway though, what was your take on Joshua uh, saying that he's gonna reap Tyson Fury's head off bro? I think the whole, <clears throat> it's not maybe about, 
80, 70 percent of the boxing world wants to see AJ knock off Tyson Fury's head off his shoulders. Um, a lot of people, you see, what makes this fight interesting is that a lot of people want to question both fighters, right? I don't want to question if Tyson Fury does really have it. Is he really that good? Or he's been getting lucky thus far. And I think he's been getting lucky thus far. They want to question, is AJ the guy that can take out that, take out Tyson Fury? Is AJ that it back there, right? Because Tyson Fury has yet to fight someone like AJ. Tyson Fury has yet to, to, to stand in the ring with someone like AJ. When before Tyson Fury even got in the ring with Wilder, right? What was the whole what was the whole thing that all of all every every fighter, every UK fan was saying before they started jumping on that Tyson Fury bandwagon, right before they, they said, Oh, AJ sucked, right? They said that Wilder had no skill. It's only a matter of times that he fights a new league fighter and he gets beat. Okay? He gets he gets he get he gets manhandled. Ortiz is, is is an idiot. Okay, he's a, he's a he has a he has his Cuban amateur background, but he's still an idiot because you were winning that round, you were winning both rounds, but all of a sudden you forgot and you were you 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 let Wilder land up that land up that that right hand, uh, use his left hand to pull your hand out, and he landed that massive right hand, and that's how he won. You were winning the whole fight, and that's how Wild and Wilder just landed that right. You let him land that right, and that's what happened. And people have been saying, if you back Wilder up enough, because you didn't know how to fight, you don't know how to fight back with him, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna whoop him. And that's exactly what that's exactly what uh, Tyson Fury did. But now all of a sudden, Tyson Fury is being praised as this magical god or something. Now his dad is saying, "Ain't no fighter alive that can that can defeat my son." Bro, 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 stop, stop, stop. I cannot wait till 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 Tyson gets beat. His 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 he's marinating right now. Oh my God! I cannot wait till AJ take AJ takes his head off because that victory is gonna be that much sweeter. Okay, that victory is gonna be that much sweeter with Tyson Fury spewing his mouth, this and that, open his mouth like nonstop consecutively. It's 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 it's, it's getting to the point where you know everybody's like this guy, man. He he must think he's 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 untouchable. He's he's a god, like like his father said. You know, there ain't no man there ain't no man alive that can touch my son. Okay, we will see when AJ gets to him. Okay, because now all of a sudden, like before, like I said, before, before Wilder, before that Wilder and Tyson Fury fight, everybody said, oh, oh, uh, Wilder couldn't fight. All of a sudden now, Tyson Fury beats Wilder. Oh, well, but Tyson Fury is the best. He's the, he's this and that. No, he hasn't. He hasn't beaten anybody. He hasn't gotten the ring. He hasn't gotten the ring with AJ to say he's the best. Okay, just because AJ lost to Andrew Ruiz and Tyson Fury got dropped by John McDermott. You know, and then he got called the PDs against John McDermott. Doesn't mean he's still the best. You know, if you're if you're gonna say AJ if AJ got dropped by uh by a fat man, Tyson Fury got dropped by a fat man, and Tyson Fury got Tyson Fury got embarrassed by uh by Otto Wallin. So come on, let's be let's be straight up onyx with these with these uh Tyson Fury fans that just don't know the left from the right. You know, using both hands to clean their asses. So it doesn't make sense to me what they to what they say. To both men get in the ring, you know. To AJ, to AJ knocks his head clean off. It'll be it'll, it'll be it'll, it'll be it'll be a sight to see. So I don't want to see I don't want to see any of those guys trying to say, oh, Tyson Fury's not the best. To me, he's not the best. To me, I think he's been a fraud this far. He's a he's a con man, and I'm gonna be straight up honest, okay? And he ain't conning me, you know. The only reason I say he's a con man is because he. He has yet to 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 step up and tell you why he really left uh, boxing. It should have been like I left boxing because uh, I was taking I was taking PEDs. You know I got caught and that's why I left. And then I got a chance and I got a shot with Deontay Wilder and I was able to make my way. You know, after Klitschko chased me down and I refused to fight him and I got caught for PEDs and then I got banned for two years. I started I started using I started using coke. You know and all this and then you ballooned up and then you say you. You you had some you had some problems. No, the real champion is Anthony Joshua, the man who the man who's been holding the UK up for for some time now, the man who 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 promotes who promotes boxing, okay, 
And I'm tired of people trying to take that away from him. He's a real champion. The man stays quiet, but now he's talking, and everybody, and every UK fan wants to cry. I can't wait till he. I can't. I know. I know AJ has been boiling bo inside, boiling up inside. He's gonna. He's gonna knock Tyson Fury's head off. It might. It, it might not be the way people want to see it, but all in all, Tyson Fury is gonna feel the punches of AJ, much like Pulev did. Pulev, Pulev thought AJ didn't punch that hard because you know he couldn't take out. Or he couldn't take out an Andy Reid. But as soon as he felt those punches of AJ, he, what did he do? He turned to the corner, you know, and the ref saved him. That fight should have ended in the third round. The way he, the way he bowled up his head, the way he didn't want any more. It was a standing eight count, but oh, I think that uh, that fight should have been stopped. We'll just wait and see when the when the when the true when the true champion stands up in the ring and he's able to and he's able to show you guys what he could do. I wonder what the I wonder what the Tyson Fury fans are gonna say. I don't want to hear oh yeah. yeah. It was a proper fight, good job to him. No, they just been the champion the whole time. And that's who he is. Like I've been saying, man. Like Jano the carry life. Thanks, brother. You definitely nailed that. Ninja no de carry last. You know, if you're a Nigerian, you would never understand that parabolic phrase. And I'll call and also uh Joshua talked about racism, about black uh, black lives matter stuff. You know, he called himself an African man, you know, he, that's how he addressed himself, saying that the people who are who racially abuse others, you know, are unaware or are just ignorant towards other people's culture, traditions, and belief. What was the take on uh, on that statement from Joshua Burrow? You see, I like I like that I like what he said. I am an I am an African man, okay. Because he knows, he knows, he knows where his blood, he knows where his roots are. You know, he, he's he's a man who's he, he, the, 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 listen. If you if you if the guy the guy might come, the, people might say, oh, the guy comes off as cheesy, bro. I, you can tell the guy is he's a, he's a genuine character. Okay, he's a genuine character, and what he says, he means it. You know, people people might not understand the way he works. They might not understand the way he moves. But the man, the man under, absolutely understands his origin and where he comes from. You know, if if he wants to, I, like 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 from day one, we uh, 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 he got, he was the one who uh, who people um, he was he was chased out of uh, not I wouldn't use necessarily use the word chased, but he wasn't accepted into uh, Africa into uh, for for the Olympic team, so he left. <laughs> You mean Nigerian uh, uh, Olympic yeah. team when he wanted yeah. to represent Nigeria in the Olympic 2008, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, well, uh, there's, there, you know, I, I, I think he was, he was accepted, but the thing is, he was accepted, okay, but someone there was corrupt, okay, someone there, someone in the camp didn't want Joshua to represent because he already had another day what he meant lined up for it. And um, you know, corruption took over because they said, "Listen, they said Joshua was not experienced enough." It's not that he was rejected; he wasn't rejected. I, I did my my investigation. I had to make some calls. You know, he wasn't rejected because he was asked to come to you know to try and all the stuff. He came. He went late, but there is no way they would have picked him regardless because they already viewed or no already Warren man the Godzilla. You know as the experienced one which Joshua was a novice at that time so I guess his destiny it was not his destiny to do so and uh, I'm glad they still you know he didn't you know give up on his fatherland you know um, you know uh, for I'll be like a lot of athletes would say that I mean I, don't, I wanted to do so and uh, I mean Joshua is, hasn't even talked about that yet you know what I mean? He, he see, he's like he doesn't want to remember that part, that that part of his life. He believes that everything happens for a reason, and I just think that's how it is, man. So, guys, if you're watching right now, like the video, share, subscribe, and of course, you know it is, you know it is. You know, we 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 give you guys the latest and greatest, you know, news from around the world, boxing news from around the world. You know how it is, man. Ninja, no the carry last. I want to hear you say that again, brother. Tell Jack. Boy. <laughs> Niger, I know they carry last man. Thanks, brother. I really appreciate it. Stay blessed, brother. God bless you all. Cheers.